Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 9, Thoughts. This episode is called Best Laid Plans. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for the MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Another episode I love. The episode is rated TVPG, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So yeah, love the... The logo lingers slightly, and then the Kree walk out of the the tinted fog. Very nicely done. And yeah, I love the... So at first, it looks like, you know, for, for, yeah, at first it looks like, oh, wow, they really didn't plan this. And then it's like, oh, it's a trap. Ah, oh, it's kind of a bad trap. Oh, it's a good trap. The, it, was a, it was a double bluff. You know, very, very nicely done. And, yeah, um, Cassius says, if even one of my... Uh, my yeah items do not make it onto the the shuttle in one piece neither will you you know again we see this you know he's a fascist and to fascists objects are more valuable than human beings and let's see yeah and and you know he considers himself a god very very ominous, very nicely done, and yeah, we, we're we told what it was, you know, Robin told May, and, you know, so I was like, I was off, my, my guess about Flint, apparently he's supposed to reconstruct the monolith from the one fragment that Deke's father, and now Voss, had very clever that yeah you know once like he can manipulate rock that thing is rock yeah you keep you've been saying that on repeat and and <laughs> i like that yeah may calls calls enoch metal man and he says i am mostly plastic and Chronicoms do not have a gender, so he's not binary. Very nice, good for representation. You know, he's he's a he's one of the good guys and the one of the good people. They are one of the good people. Is see that one? I'm still I'm still adjusting to. Is it they is or they are? Well, I guess it's they is because it's a it's a singular they. Yeah, and that's not. A, I'm not saying that's purely for gender, I, that's also just, yeah, anyway, um, but yeah, and, and then she calls him plastic, and says, make yourself useful, and he says, plastic is often useful, sometimes it goes unnoticed, you know, which, oh, poor Enoch, he just wants, he is useful, they are, they is useful, it's not like they're not, you know, just, yeah, <laughs> And, yeah, I appreciate, you know, Coulson tries to talk to, to May about, you know, it's it's a lot to be told, you know, you were a mother, and, you know, Daisy <laughs> is like, you know, oh, you, you'd have been a really strict mom, and the, you know, there's the, the yeah, then, then, you know, May gives her a, a stare, and and Daisy's like, "That stare is just proving my point." Let's see, you've never seen me very upset. And yeah, the Voss talks to to Deke and is like, "Your father, he came up with the knife. You all saw it." And and. Yeah, I really appreciate the, you know, Voss trying to appeal to Deke. I think it would have been very boring if he was just like, Ah, Kaiser says my evil plan has failed. No, clearly he believes in what he's doing, and he still thinks there's a chance. You know, maybe he can convince Deke, because Deke is still maybe not 100% sold on the, the, the agents, you know. And I do appreciate they get some really nice tension out of that when... Sinara and Daisy are fighting, and Deke grabs the, you know, he gets, 
yeah, he opens this, this, you know, box, and it's like, I mean, maybe he'll help Sonara, maybe he'll take out Daisy. He's been thinking that she is the destroyer of worlds. You know, there's no one, none of the, the other humans can stop him. And, and it was a fairly even fight. You know, Sonara... You know, if, yeah, if he had helped Sonara, the two of them might have been able to take out Daisy, except for plot armor, obviously. And... Let's see, then we have the... Um, yeah, Tess comes back. I gotta say, I'm... I'm it's messed up, but I am glad she's back. I'm, I'm really enjoying the, the character, the performance. And, and yeah, you know, they, they talk about, well, this is like with Coulson, you know, Kree can bring people back from the dead. And notice also, Cassius, he said, something like, resurrect my most recent acquisition, you know. He thinks of this in terms of, you know, he, he acquired her, he got her, you know, he, he maybe not through purchase, but nevertheless, he considers her as belonging to him. Let's see. Yeah, and, and Tess tells them about the button, which, yeah, very, very nicely done. I, until they showed it at near the very end of this episode, I was not sure how they were going to be able to, 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 yeah, fight that. And, yeah, we see that Daisy is doubting herself. Which, you know, maybe that's why she, you know, it was kind of harsh telling May, oh, you'd be this kind of mom, you know, when she's dealing with, but I think it's because Daisy's also down. She sometimes gets kind of bitter and, and you know, lashes out if she is in a situation she really hates. And, let's see, you know, I mean, this is nothing compared to when Hive left her with, uh, you know, Ah, what's it called? The the um, withdrawal symptoms, and yeah, the the um, they realize about the gravitonium and know, know for sure that it really is a time loop. And I really appreciate you know where Fitz is like it's hopeless, we're gonna fail. Gemma points out this actually means that we you know we did this once before. There's a chance, you know, just, yeah. Because that is the thing. At the end of the day, it depends on how you how you look at it. You can read it as positive or negative. And, and yeah, uh, Deke shows up and, and Coulson is like, So, boss, still a Mogus? And, yeah, the we learn, you know, they're... Tess says, you know, Cassius said he was going to burn, and, and, yeah, very clever, you know, it's that thing of, it's like a, with a, with a Star Wars villain, you know, the, the Empire, when the, the thing that destroys it, the, the, the reason that they lose is their overconfidence, and, yeah, Cassius, if he hadn't said burn, you know, the, they wouldn't have found those bombs. They wouldn't have known where to look. You know, there's tons of things you could do, but when he specifically says burn, well, that's got to be the oxygen supply. Let's see. And... Or, yeah, something with oxygen. Anyway. And it, it was very clever. You know, we see them having removed one, and it seemed like, oh, there. it's like... To, to have evidence. No, it was so that they could tell them, this is what it looks like. You gotta go to all the different floors and remove those. Love seeing this kind of optimistic thing of, you know, we can do it if we all work together. And... Yeah. Daisy and, and Deke talk about, you know, is it... You know, the, yeah, the, the idea of, of killing for a good cause, and, you know, he says, maybe I'm just too weak to, to do this, and, yeah, I, I thought they, they did a really great job there, because it really, yeah, you know, Deke's world has a lot of, you know, life is cheap, 
and you know Daisy having the you know she's got the, the privilege of living in you know a democratic country yeah you know killing someone is the last resort and yeah Voss says you know it's a mistake to to you know yeah Col Colson is is like I'm, I'm not gonna kill you you know we don't kill unarmed men so give him a spoon what's the big deal and yeah I appreciate you know when they talk about you know what are we gonna do to stop Cassius and several of them are like we're, we got to fight you know and you know that's that's the thing like Cassius thinks oh you know they all fear me now they hate you they've just been you know you really like you just gave them the final push into fighting back and he actually is shocked you know he's like an uprising now you know what yeah now an uprising exactly because you keep you know th this is what happens if you rule entirely through fear you know there are actual fascist leaders who specifically you know I want to say was it um, I feel like I read that um, uh, let's see not not Hitler he he committed suicide himself but there was the the Mussolini um, I think he was let's see yeah let's see the the um, uh, let's see um yeah local partisans captured them they were executed and they were you know the the um, yeah, they were left in a square for a large angry crowd to insult and physically abuse, you know. The the people that had, you know, for, for a while he was popular, but because of these awful things he did during World War II, he, uh, yeah, they ended up hating him, and, yeah. So the it's it's similar, what's happening here, although I'm not sure Cassius was ever beloved by humans on the show and the let's see then we have the um yeah uh very i like this thing of you know what what are we gonna do and it's like um we can we can fly you know we just gotta get into the the gravity storm and then the controls should, you know just, yeah very very nicely done and i feel like they did mention in an earlier episode that they were preparing the zephyr for being able to fly in you know in in orbit or something along those lines and Sonara gets in and, and very clever because yeah like you have all these civilians leaving and you know they're they're trying to talk to Sonara and they're like okay you know what you don't want to leave that's on you I goodbye you know and and she pulls the thing down and we see the 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 blue face and yeah love the fight between the the oh hold on I'm skipping ahead uh, let's see um, yeah uh, Tess you know your your messenger has returned excellent and Tess is back and she you know alone and she you know uh, you know, he talks about punishing her for showing up alone and empty-handed. I'm alone, but I'm not empty-handed, you know. And and the let's see, it's a crystal and a and a blood sample, and yeah, that's from the lab. Obviously, there's no way that they could have, you know, they don't run around with stuff like that in the the regular areas. And yeah, she says they wanted me to say push of a button you know just very nice and and yeah again we're seeing this thing of you know he's threatening all these human lives and the way to to threaten him back is to threaten something he feels he controls not 
not lives. They're not, like, they didn't capture a family member of his, for example. No, they're threatening, you know, we got, we got your research lab, you know, we can destroy all this stuff that you care so much about. You know, again, very, very nicely. I love how the show is doing this thing of, of pointing out, you know, how evil it is to value, put, put greater value on objects compared to, to lives. And let's see. Then we have the... Yeah, and, and yeah, Cassius does show up and, and starts threatening the... the yeah, it's, uh, Elena and Mac. And I love this thing of, like, you know, we do kind of worry that Elena is going to just suddenly, you know, do something rash. Although, you know, we did, th we thought it would work when she tries to, to make a, a run for it. But yeah, to, uh, you know, use her powers to grab it from him. But that's why there were those two guards. You know, we just thought, oh, they're like bodyguards. They're there to, you know, and, and the staffs they're holding, they're like spears or something. But no, they, they created an invisible force field. Yeah, that means there's nothing they can do to, to stop them. Yeah, very, very tense. And yeah, awesome fight between Sonara and Daisy. And... <laughs> If I had a stomach, this is where I would vomit. And let's see. What did I write? Oh, right, right. Yeah, the you know, they make some biblical references. Very ominous and yeah, after some tension and I was not quite knowing Deke does help Daisy and, yeah, uses the scorpion claw and, and the, yeah, then we have the, uh, yeah, uh, Daisy manages to impale Sonara. And I, I also like when they're when they're flying and Gemma's like, this was a horrible idea, I'm sorry. <laughs> and yeah, the you know ultimately Cassius does press the button. And I was sitting there thinking, holy crap, are they actually gonna you know thankfully they did you know, we see they placed all the bombs in this one spot and they close the door and run away and, and yeah, they <laughs> Very, very nicely done because, yeah, we didn't see the entire, you know, the we saw some of when Mac and, and Elena talked to the, the crowd, but we didn't see the part where they agreed to do this, you know, very, very nicely done. We, we did legitimately think that the plan was just to threaten you, you know, with the, with the research lab, but in reality, the, you know, they... They made like a toilet installed. And yeah, we, you know, Kasai says, this is not over. You know, send a squad. They had a seer, I have a seer, which I'm really excited to find out what, yeah, how he, because, because, yeah, he knew some stuff that was not like, readily, you know, it's not just, oh, he looked out a window. No, he knew details that he wouldn't have been able to. So, yeah. Um, I really appreciate that they, you know, they didn't jump directly into this. It's, you know, this is episode 9 of, I believe there's 22 this season. You know, now there's an actual all-out battle between, you know, the creepers and the human beings. So, yeah, really, really, yeah, so stoked to see. I, I should be able to do an episode tomorrow. And let's see. <laughs> um, MDB trivia the sign on the doors of the Cree Doctor's laboratory spells empire or death in Cree alphabet.
Right, and yeah, the title is based on Robert Burns' poem to a mouse, which reads, The best laid schemes of mice and men gang aft a glay, which translates to go oft awry, which is still... Yeah, I think it's go oft or like, often go awry. Yeah. Language has evolved a lot over time. Um, let's see. The... Why does the guy named Gunner get stock throwing rocks? Because you're damn good at it. Which I do also appreciate that now, you know, Gunner and Mac can, can work together despite, obviously, the very harsh way that they... Yeah. Let's see... Right, it was also very clever, like, when Kasaias recognized Elena, you know, <clears throat> that that was set up for the fact that he knew she might, you know, be there, and thus brought the, the force field, but it also kind of made us think, oh, he didn't know that she was, so he must not be prepared you know, and yeah, he's a manipulative SOB. He he knew that he would be able to to get them to to lower their guard. And let's see, I think that might be about. Um, yeah. Um, I liked when May said, maybe I can help you with that, uh, Enoch. Let's see. Um, you are confident, despite knowing this will surely end in your deaths. 